Uh, hello and welcome to episode 30 now, I guess. Oh, wow, we really made it to episode 30 already of my Let's Play of Dial 20's Wanted 18 pack. Uh, today we're going to continue along this path of finishing up this, um, uh, I guess, crop farm. We've got it. Um, I've discovered a couple of things. Um, first of all, hemp doesn't work in here. Um, this machine doesn't handle it very well. As you can see, That this one's fully grown and it hasn't been harvested yet. So we're going to have to switch up a couple things. I somehow also managed to void all my melon seeds. I have no idea where they went. I did not. Actually, are they in my backpack? No. Yeah, I don't know where my melons went. Very interestingly, they're just like disappeared. I honestly have no idea where they are. So that's the thing that we have to deal with. But other than that, it's working well. Things are being harvested, but we haven't handled some of the issues that this creates, namely storage. So we're going to be getting a lot of uh, potatoes, carrots, and all these other things. Um, and we have nowhere to put it, so I've gone ahead and made myself a couple of storage drawers in here. Um, I just need to grab out the uh, configuration and linking tool. So first of all, let's lock them both, and then we got to link them together. And we can still just stage everything that we need. So we need that, that, that. Uh, beetroot. Uh, I don't think we have any pumpkins yet in the system. So let's just put this stuff there. It doesn't really matter how it goes, uh, just so long as we are staging it. Um, do I really, I don't think I really care about poisonous potato. That can just kind of go away. Okay, do we have any pumpkins yet? Cool. We have one pumpkin. That can go under there. Yeah, and I have no idea what happened to our melon. So, uh... That's the thing that we have to figure out, but other than that, that's all fine. But it's working. It's not working very quickly, so I think I want to get towards having hydroponic beds um, yeah, over there instead of just regular farmland, because it's not going to be very fast. Um, and we want it to be relatively quickly, because otherwise, if we run out of like saplings and things like that, power is going to also become an issue for us again. So we need to deal with that. Um, and to deal with that, actually, why is this area not planted? What are you missing? Potatoes? No, you got potatoes. Why are you not planting things? Ignored. Is it trying to plant this stuff, but it's not working? Let's get rid of that to start with. Something's being. Oh, where's our um? The heck? Our range add-on is not here anymore. Maybe that's why it's not working. The hell happened to that? Backpack. Where's my range add-on? Hello, game. Um, I just discovered this now. What the heck, man? Did that get voided as well somehow? I don't know how that happened. I think maybe, um, like this middle mouse button, like, you know how you like do that to sort things? I think maybe doing that actually inside this machine actually might have caused it to, um, to void. That's really not cool. Um, okay. Well, I need to get another range add on plus nine. That's why that's not working. Um, so let's do that. But other than that, like I said, we want to work towards hydroponic beds. So to do this, we need fertilizer, which we make in a sewage composter. And which means we need a sewer, I think it's called. Uh, there's a bunch of things we need to make. So let's first of all fix this by going and getting ourselves a... That's really frustrating. Um, oh, Another range add-on plus nine. I think that was the coarse one, wasn't it? Um, I need to empty this bucket. Oop. Damn, can I just void a bucket? No, apparently not. Let's just put that in there then. Buck. Cool, just one of these. Need to grab some latex, put the latex into this bad boy. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was a quartz one, so we need quartz. Haynes and redstone, I think it is. Uh, I'm totally doing this by memory, but I think it's just one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two and then double redstone. I think that's making it. I have no idea how that happened. All right, let's um not middle mouse button. Well, let's test actually. We, we have the resources. We can make another one if we really need to. So if I go here and then put that in there, now you're back to being the entire work area. And then middle mouse. Yeah, totally just voided everything. That's not cool. It's because the inputs are locked. We even got rid of our seeds and stuff. Um, I want those out of there anyway. Um, crap, I need to grab potatoes and shit. Um, okay, so we just broke this. Why does hemp seeds keep going in? Where are these hemp seeds coming from? Where are they coming from? Are you going back into the system? Are you being imported? Yeah, you are. Okay. That's where they're coming from. <laughs> Oh, uh, we need to pull this out. Crap. So that's what happened to our seeds and stuff. They just all got voided before they got planted. That's interesting. All right, now you now we know. Um, don't use your middle mouse button sort inside of the industrial foregrounding machines because it just voids your stuff. Oh, and I don't have the latex to actually make this. Hurry up. Make me latex. Um, well, that's good to know at the very least. Um, we can avoid doing that now. It's also like actually frustrating. Oh, well. well, we can solve this problem now. So let's go put that back in there. Um, and now I need to grab out seeds and stuff again and relock those inputs. Put you into there. Beetroot seeds, sure. You can come out. Um, I need... Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. Crap. I need a pumpkin. And I need one of you. Um, and what else did I need? Uh, carrots. Um, carrots. This is really annoying. Oh, shit. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, there's a carrot. That works. Uh, pumpkin seeds. Uh, pumpkin seeds needs to get staged in there. I need a potato. Boom, potato. I'll put you in there. One, two, three, four things. Oh, crap. I know everything's being taken out. Of course it is. Why is it being taken out? There. Oh, no, uh, lock. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Cool. That's everything we needed. Um, and then into here, uh, we can just throw everything back into the system then. So that's that problem solved. Um, that's like super annoying. Um, I guess now I can retill this area since we don't have melons anymore. That just got voided. It's actually like super frustrating that that happened. I um, also need to get rid of this hemp actually now that I think of it. Because unfortunately that doesn't grow. Maybe flax will work. Maybe we can get flax in here instead. Um, let's put that there, that there. We have flax seeds, don't we? Yeah, we do. Maybe we start growing flax instead. So I can put you there. Now the problem is, if I unlock the inputs, it's going to forget this stuff. Which we obviously don't want it to do. So how do I get you to plant flax seed? Actually, we can do it. Oh, can I do it that way? No, that's not going to work because the inputs are locked. Um, what the heck, man? And actually, I guess it doesn't really matter. The inputs don't need... No, they do need to be locked, actually. Because otherwise, if this fills up with like regular seeds and other stuff won't get in there. Um, all right, we'll leave this kind of in the background at the moment. Um, what I'll do is I'll actually get some of this flax planted in here, kind of randomly. 
and then it'll sort itself out in the future. Oop. Um, and sleeping bag. Well, I'm glad we solved that issue. Because that's kind of frustrating. Now, hopefully all of our potatoes are coming back into here first instead of going into anything else. Um, instead of going into the, whatchamacallit, into the crusher downstairs. But I think we're good. Okay, that's solved. Um, let's actually get into the meat and potatoes of what we actually wanted to do today. What I actually wanted to do today is um, we got to deal with some animal ranching and things like that because we want uh, fertilizer, which means we need a sewage composter, which means we need to generate sewage. So to do that, uh, we are going to need, where's my Akashic Tone? I had it on me earlier. It's the Nature's Aura book. Where is it? Did that get voided as well? Oh no, there it is. I'm blind. <laughs> it didn't get voided. I'm just blind. Uh, industrial foregoing. Also, I don't know where this book came from. I think I spawned back one day and I had it, which is kind of nice for us, but whatever. Um, but what did I say we needed? We needed the sewer. Um, a machine used to collect sewage from animals and experience. Used to collect sewage from animals and experience to turn it into essence. Cool, so we need the sewer. Um, we need this bad boy so that we, then that can go into the sewage composter, which will make fertilizer. And then with that fertilizer, we can put it to make the hydroponic beds. Right? And then I think we can actually feed... There's another machine that we can make as well to make it even faster, which is the plant fertilizer, which is where all of our extra fertilizer can go towards. Sound cool? Lots of lots of plants. Oh wow, we need simple machine frames to do that. That's gonna be interesting. Um, so let's start on like we need to do animal ranching. I think today, not animal ranching, but uh, it's gonna be a bunch of these animal feeder, mob slaughter factory, and a sewer are the things that we're gonna need. So let's make those. Bang. Uh, it's called industrial foregoing. Is what the mod's called. So let's see. We want the uh, well, we're going to want one of you. Why are you not adding to my wish list? There you are. And I want you as well. I'm um, going to need that one and animal feeder. And then the animal baby separator. Cool. I think that's all the machines we're going to want to make today. We have to make a lot of things today. Um, and also figure out where I want these cows to go. Because uh, where they are right now isn't really an ideal spot. I think what I'll do is I'll probably chop down these trees over here and then chop them over here. That sounds like a good plan. Let's do that. Um, is my laser full? No, but I have my lumber axe. Um, all right, so I'm going to chop this up and then I'll make a little pen and then we'll come back in a little bit and pick up in a second and figure out what the plan of attack is. And that just broke. Of course it did. Uh, okay, we'll be back in a second. Bang. Okay. So now we've got this pen. Um, it's just a very simple nine by nine big pen here. And then we've got another little one over here, uh, which is just a little five by five, which is, it's, it's okay. It's, it's the space that we need at the moment. So, uh, from here on, we're going to need to build a few things, right? Cause we want to, uh, I guess, breed these animals up and then we, cause we need to get stuff from them, but actually maybe we don't. Maybe the sewer will just actually just grab things from it anyway. Let's make it. Let's 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 find let's make the sewer and just find out what the prerequisites are. Um so we go here, sewer. See, remember this this blue thing, we can go shift click. Oh no, because control click wasn't it? Uh control click, bang, start. And then I can click on it again. Because we taught it the recipes last time. Okay, how does the sewer work? So we need power, and you have a working area as well. 
Um, so this just looks like it needs to get placed in the middle. In here. Like there. And then you'll pick up um, experience and their poop. Which will be nice, I guess. Um, <laughs> okay, so we want a range plus one, two, three. Is that what I'm is that what I'm seeing? Is that how the range works? So we need a plus three range upgrade. Upgrade. Range plus three. Oh not equals three. Plus three. Plus three. Uh, which is just bone meal, and then I need more latex. We should have everything there. Um, you don't need to be in my inventory anymore. Uh, let's go make that. Uh, here, bang. I should have bone meal in here, don't I? I've got bones. I can make bone meal. I'm probably going to need more than four of these now that I think of it, but or one of these rather. Um, I need that, I need my pains back. Where am I? Oh no, glass pains are in my inventory. I need redstone then. Cool, bang bang. Uh, same crafting recipe as the other stuff we made. So it's just that, that, and two of those. That'll make a range upgrade. Now, oh, while we're here, well, I guess it doesn't really matter where we are since we have this um, wireless thing. I'm going to grab out the wheat that we have. And we need to breed up those cows. I'm going to probably want like six in here anyway. Cool. Bang. Range add-on. Beautiful. It is a plus three. So that's going to take up this entire area. Nice. Um, I guess we just need to provide power to you. Should just be able to go straight underneath it. Um, I'm going to need my, nope, my personal shrinking device. Oop. Come down here. Um, I need like a good shovel or something. I really don't have a, a, a shovel besides this mattock, and even then this thing isn't all that great. Maybe I just make a paxel. Maybe we go into enchanting and I make a paxel. I think they're easier to deal with. Oh yeah, we can tap in straight into this line. Beautiful. Do we have more universal cables? Um, and then I want, what's the thing? I'm just going to make more of these. 21, 27 of them. Eh, is that going to reach? Probably not. Let's find out. No! We're only a few short. Damn. Fine. Uh, no, let's not do that. I thought about it. I thought about it. Let's make more cable to begin with. We got the steel there. We got all the stuff to make some. Let's just make like that much and then we'll make more advanced. Eventually I'm going to have to run through and upgrade all of them to better tiers, but today is not that day. I need to grab my dirt back out. I really wish we had the dank null. Has it been added by chance? No, it hasn't. Dank. Dank storage was a great one because at least I could, then I could like place blocks from within it. Um, cool, we are collecting sewage. Which is kind of gross, but at the same time, nah, it's just still kind of gross, isn't it? <laughs> Um, okay, now we just need to be able to transfer this sewage into a composter. Does it matter where I put the composter? I guess not. But we've got to manage the fluid in this anyway. Just annoying that we can only access the one face of it. So I'm trying to think about like, what's the best way of doing this? Honestly, I think probably we're going to want to chuck a node on the bottom of it more than anything. And then we're going to want some energy cards and a fluid card and an interface probably and then we can use refined storage to store everything do i just use refined storage to store the to store the sewage 
Is that a, like a terrible idea? Um, crap, I should have thought of this. I got a bucket's worth in there. Yoink. Um, okay, well anyways, we still need to make a sewage composter. Let's control click. I keep forgetting to do that. So it's here. No, not the sewer, the sewage composter. And we have to do it from this thing. Control click, start, start, start. And then you just click on it again. Beautiful. It's all crafted up. Now you just need power and then I just think you needed like a thing of sewage. Alright, I think that's how we're gonna do it. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna need a node set up, but let's firstly go down to the where do I want this? Let's go to the basement to do this, I think. Um, and let's not be tiny. Um, it doesn't matter where you go. Not really. Let's throw you here. Right, and where am I throwing power from underneath? Let's go under there. Bang, bang, bang. Um, I need to break you as well. Let's pass. Power underneath and then to this machine. Replace the floor. Bang. There. And then you're going to turn straight into into there. And then you get processed. How much does a bucket turn into? A bucket turns into one fertilizer. Okay. So now. Uh, okay, we're gonna do this. We're gonna we're gonna use a, a fluid drive, I think. Since refined storage has a way to um, manage this stuff, we want to make, so let's just make like a 64k fluid storage. Does that sound like a good time? No, we want more than 64k. 64 buckets? Yeah, that'll be fine for now. Let's just make one of these. I don't think it's gonna, really going to hurt. Um, 64k fluid drive. How are we still running out of no, uh, quartz iron? Like, honestly, I thought we made so much of that stuff. Uh, where's my spot? 64 clay fluid strife. Bang. Cool. Um, and then you just go into here as well. Yeah, nice. And you can store fluids. Beautiful. Well, in that case, then, I need to run cables to the interface. Um, how many more cables do we have? Got, uh, stack. Yeah, cool. We need that. Um, we're going to want to make an interface as well, then. I think the interface is probably going to be the smartest way of going about it. Um, for sure. Um, machine casing. Let's make you... Um, bang. Make what you need to make. You're missing an improved process. We really need to teach this. I think that's what we're going to do next episode is teaching um, all this system how to make the improved stuff and auto smelting and all that junk. Um, we need to go upstairs to do this. Cool. You're all I need for now. Um, we need to make this bad boy, control click, start, start. Um, you, just one of you. Uh, I'm going to want my nodes. Are you in my backpack? Yes, my nodes. Uh, do I need a laser wrench? Probably not. I'm going to want my card holder, which is there. Um, is there anything else I'm going to need? I don't think so. Um, I'm probably going to want a second interface, actually, now that I think of it as well. To, um, to deal with the... What's the word? Oh my god. Control click is what I want. Uh, deconstruction core, of course. Um... To deal with passing the sewage and stuff to and from the composter. Decon. Hmm. Cool. 
our destruction core. It's not deconstruction core. Um, bang, another interface. Cool. All right. It's not time again. Jeez. Um, I'm using refined storage mainly just because I'm lazy. I think I don't really want to do it any other way. Um, realistically, what I could do, oh, those, these things are super annoying. I've got to kill this thing quick. I say as I get hit and knocked away, like immediately. Okay, cool. Um, bang, we need that. Oh, this is actually going to be super annoying. Um, actually, no, it's not. I think I think I've got a semi-intelligent way of doing this. Um, what I really need to do though is shrink, so that the cows don't fall in here. So let's just put a block there. One by one, they won't pass through. Let's get rid of that cable. Let's get rid of this cable. Now, bang. Um. I'm going to want to have an energy card. And I think I want two of these. So one, two. Oop, one, two. I'm going to want this advanced cable to go there. I want the interface to go there. Yep. Uh, this probably doesn't need to be an interface now that I think of it. But it's not going to hurt anyway. Now on the upside, I want an energy insert, and then I want a fluid extract at a bucket every 20 ticks. Beautiful. I'm going to want another fluid card. Um, bang, bang. Um, that got immediately put into my thingy. And on the west side, I want a fluid insert card. Right. And that should hopefully connect to the interface. Actually, I don't know if the interfaces can handle fluids, to be honest with you. Um, how do we handle fluids and moving around in refined storage? Destructor, destructor, exporter, external storage, importer. Oh, I guess it doesn't, it's not going to show up and connect as an inventory until, oh, do you need a fluid upgrade or something? Speed upgrade range, crafting stack, silk touch fortune. I don't know what that does. Regulator upgrade. I don't know if this plan is going to work, to be honest with you, actually. Interface import. West, it's a fluid insert card. Um, it's not working either. Well, anyways, then. Um, and then on the north side, which is the side we're looking at, we want... Energy insert. Cool. Now that's connected. We should have power going into here. Um, on the upside, do we want energy extract? Thousand a tick. No. North side, energy extract. And then on the top side, Energy insert. Oh, not stock insert. Crap. Uh, up. Bang. Insert. Aha! That's how we do that. And then on the top, we want... On the upside, we want fluid extract. And fluid insert on the west side into this thing. Because it's pulling the fluid out of that into this. Cool. Now, I don't know if this is going to work until we connect this. So let's make another track. Going back this way. And connect this up to, I don't think it really matters where, so long as there's some sort of um, Actually, it would be really nice if I had it on the other side now that I think of it Ah, uh, whatever. Actually, what I'll do is I'll just bring it down in this way the, the cabling is like so ugly in this base, like I'm so glad it's all hidden behind walls because it does not look good Cool, there 
And this doesn't really matter how it's connected up, so long as they're connected into the network somehow, right? So we're just going to go this way, and then you're going to make a bend here, and then back up, and then this way all the way to the interface. Export interface import. Okay, so why are you not working then? Because sewage is connect like it's not hovering with the tank. Right click to drain from item. Okay, it took the bucket. <laughs> That's not what I wanted though. Is there some sort of like fluid? Um, crap. Ah, shit. Okay, we need a fluid interface. That's what we needed. Uh, this isn't going to work with a regular interface. Okay. Bang. Get rid of that. We want a fluid interface. Good thing we had a look. Probably should have looked at that before we did everything. But there. In. Sewage. Bucket. Every... Bucket every tick. Lovely. That's working now. Uh, which means now this uh, interface that I have here needs to get upgraded to a fluid interface as well then. Uh, I need another advanced processor. Uh, bang. Uh, I should have just kept the bindings with me. Um, do I need to do anything else while we're down here? No, I don't think we do. Because then even once we start getting experience and stuff from this thing, it's not going to affect anything, which is kind of nice. Um, let's mate you two together. And head back to the base. Um, I want to cook you up. Oh man, these take so long. Bang. Bang. Put you in there. Fluid interface. Let's make you. Oh, actually, fluid interface isn't really going to work here either, though, because I want you to export fluids. Do I really have to have two interfaces hooked up to this thing? Is that really how I'm going to have to do this? It's kind of annoying. Right, because we need to insert a fluid and then pull out an item. And that's how this, this thing works. And fluid interfaces obviously only deal with fluids. And the other interfaces only deal with items. Is there an interface that deals with both? No, nah, it's just one of each. That's kind of frustrating. Do I really need two interfaces for this? Do you auto... Fertilizer. Yeah, because then I also need something to pass it out. I could use an exporter. Importer, rather. I want an importer. Let's make you. So then if I go importer, and then break that cable, and then go fluid interface, and then on the out, I want sewage. Um, cool. And then under lays, I need two more fluid cards. Right, and then we'll just chuck a node underneath you. On the upside, we want fluid extract. Uh, yeah, you're a fluid interface. What? Whoops, on the downside. On the downside, we want fluid insert, actually. And on the upside, we want fluid extract. Bang. Now so we're just going to go into you. You're going to turn into fertilizer. And then we have an importer there. And then the importer is just going to get hooked up like that. And then it's going to import fertilizer into the system. Now we have four fertilizer. And then with those four fertilizer, we can come here. 
Uh, okay, let's make... Four, five, six, seven, eight. I think that's as many as we need. Let's make one more. And one more, just for good luck. Uh, we can make gold gears, so let's start that. Simple machine frame. What do we need to make you? Need nether bricks. Let's make a pity machine frame, since we have that stuff. Uh, we're going to want... Four, I only needed four, but okay, that'll work. Um, hydroponic bed. 250 millibuckets. I'm going to need plastic, iron, and nether brick. So let's grab some plastic. Two, we need eight of these. Um, I need iron. Another eight of those. And I need... Do I not have any netherrack? Actually, I do have netherrack. It's in my block storage. Bang. Oops. Bang. Netherrack. Bang. Okay, cool. Now we just need to cook up some of this stuff. Uh, you're super slow. Two, three, four, six, and eight. Cool. That's one, two. Plastic was there. Pity machine frame was there. Um, and I've forgotten what the rest of it was. Gold gear. And then iron here. And I need my gold gears. Got two. I need to make another two of them. Let's do that. I'm going to grab a bucket of latex. Of course, all my buckets are gone. Um, I've got too much junk on me now. Bucket of latex goes into that. And then you, I'm going to lock the inputs, very importantly. Because then once this thing crafts, wow, you're slow. I'm going to do a really simple, uh, cool thing. Because otherwise I'd have to put everything in there by hand again. I can just kind of click and drag over my inventory. And I have those there, that there, and then it'll craft again. And you can get a bunch of these things. Instead of me having to put that in every single time, I can just um, do the thing. Go shift click, 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 and click. And we should have just enough latex in there to make four of them. So let's do that, and we'll be back once I have all four. Okay, we've got our four simple machine frames now. I can throw those into the system. And then with those four, I can, whoops, I can go control click, uh, that, bang, I can make one hydroponic bed. Uh, I'm gonna have to go control click again. I should really just, can I, I wish I could edit this and be like, hey, make more than one gear, one set, but it's right. We can just do this a bunch of times, I guess. We now have four hydroponic beds. Now, how do these things work? Output water. What do you mean output? Oh, do you auto harvest? Is, is that a thing that you do? Do I need to get rid of the other stuff? Hydroponic bed. This machine, when combined with power and water, will speed up crop growth a bit. By providing very small amounts of ether gas, crops will grow much faster and they will be replaced automatically. Why do you have an output then? What's your output? What do you give me? Um, I don't know. 
But I think that's a mystery to solve for the next episode. I think that's probably a good wrapping up point. Um, anyone who's still here, thanks for watching. We, we've got our hydroponic beds, and tomorrow I guess we're going to figure out how these things work and continue along this line. But anyways, we'll see you all on the next one. Peace.